a record button. Amen. And we're ready to get started with uh, developing unwavering faith. Uh, Brother Dickinson, you ready to go? Yes, sir. Pastor, grace and peace to you and good evening to you. Grace and peace to all the Zionites who may be on the line and their families. Grace and peace to all the guests and family who may be on the line. I pray all is well with you and your families. I pray the Lord is blessing you and keep me while, while you're going through whatever it is you're going through. And I want to just encourage you to keep on believing and trusting God for your breakthrough and never, never give up and he will see you through. And I pray that you had a wonderful and blessed and safe day. If you have your Bibles, please turn with me to 2 Corinthians chapter 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, 13th verse. And if you can stand for the reading of God's word, we will do just that. 2 Corinthians 4, 13 says this. In the King James Version, we having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believed, and therefore have I spoken. We also believe, and therefore speak. In the Passion Bible of 2 Corinthians 4.13, reads this way. We have the same spirit of faith that is described in the scriptures when it says, First, I believe, then I spoke in faith. So we also first believe, then speak in faith. And one more in the Message Bible, uh, 2 Corinthians 4.13. We've not, we're not keeping this quiet, not on your life. Just like the psalmist who wrote, I believe it, so I said it. We say what we believe. As you take your seat, I have some other scriptures to read to you that will coordinate with what I'm about to, before I give you the title. Uh, Proverbs 18, 21 is what you're familiar with. It says, and I'm going somewhere, just bear with me. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it should eat the fruit Thereof, that's the King James Version. In the Message Bible, it says, words kill, words give life. They're either poison or fruit. You choose. And in the Passion Bible for Proverbs 18, 21, says it this way. Your words are so powerful that they will kill or give life. And the talkative person will reap the consequences. Proverbs 13, 3 in the King James Version says, he that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life, but he that openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. Same verse, or uh, yes, in the New Living Translation says this, those who control their tongue will have a long life. Opening your mouth can ruin everything. In the NIV, it says those who guard their lips per, per, uh, preserve their lives. But those who speak rashly will come to ruin. And then one more verse, uh, uh, chapter Matthew, Matthew chapter 12, 34b says, For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. In the New Living Translation, that verse reads this way. Whatever's in your heart uh, determines what you will say. And then in the uh, NIV, it says it this way. For the mouth speaks what your heart is full of. My brothers and sisters, fine friends, again, I want to welcome you to our Tuesday night session of Developing Unwavering Faith where we're coming out of James 1.6. Let them ask in faith without wavering. As we are developing and continue each and every day practicing undeveloping, developing unwavering faith. My brother and sister, fine friends, one of the things of all the many things I've told you about developing unwavering faith is we have to watch what we say out of our mouths. And so based on all those scriptures I just give you, given you and for the, this title of this message for this evening's session, speak only what you believe. Speak 
only what you believe. Question. And so before, if so before I can get into speak only what you believe, I need to find out, you're not gonna be able to tell me right now. You, you think about this as I'm giving you this message. Question is, what do you believe? Mm-hmm. And here we go. Every day, our ears are constantly being bombarded with all kinds of what? Information. Some good, some bad, some to be believed, and some not to be believed. What you believe about the information you are hearing every day from various sources is up to you and you only. You are the only, you are the one and the only one who can believe what you believe. No one else is responsible for what you believe. Bear with me, this all come, uh, makes sense in a minute. You determine what is true or not true. What is believable or not believable? The ultimate decision is solely up to you to believe or not to believe in the various information you hear every single day. So again, I ask you, what do you believe? I ask this because it is whatever you believe about a negative situation, and we all deal with negative situations, is what you will speak or say about it because we speak what we believe. Hang on, you'll, you'll see where I'm going with this, which then will determine how the negative situation you are dealing with turns out for the good or for the bad. We all believe in all kinds of things. However, it is what you believe about God and his word that is of most important above everything else about how and what you believe. And so when it comes to the many negative challenges that affects your life or our lives, what you believe about it what is what you will speak about it. And the result will be negative or positive based on what you believe and speak about it. Going back to Proverbs 18, 21, death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it just eat the fruit thereof, which just simply means you're going to have what you say, either negative or positive. Moving on. For example, my brothers and family friends, if you speak negative about your sickness, because you believe what you have been told about your sickness and the effects of the sickness, and because you believe what you were told about the sickness is what you will constantly speak about uh, and therefore, your sickness will what? Remain. Because if you continue to speak negative about it, it ain't going nowhere. Okay, I don't, know, I don't care how hard you pray. Because okay? you're speaking death to it. You're not bringing life to it. It's not going to change because you keep speaking against it. Moving on. However, here we go. If you shift what you believe from what the doctor has told you about your sickness to believing what God's word says about healing, you will speak healing because that is what you truly believe. And so your healing by faith will come. That's how it works. So the sickness will remain or, or you will be healed based on how you believe and how you speak about it. Death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it should eat the fruit thereof. Healing is in power of the tongue and they that love it should eat the fruit thereof. Or sickness will uh, you will have the fruit thereof based on what you keep saying about it. Amen. Moving on. This is not a this is not a healing service, but this is that, that's something the Lord gave me to give you. Amen. Whatever you believe about your marriage is what you will speak. Whether you believe it's fixable or not fixable, it is what it will be by how you speak and say about it. Whatever you believe about your life is what you will speak. Whether you believe it's good or bad is what will be by how you what? Again, speak about it or what you have to say about it. Whatever you believe about your career is what you will speak. I keep saying whatever you believe about whatever is what you will speak because again, you only say what you believe and we only should be singing what we believe, and that's what the title of this message is what? Speak only what you believe. 
Whatever you believe about your career is what you will speak. Whether you believe it is successful or unsuccessful is what it will be by how you speak or what you say about it, positively or negatively. Whatever you believe about the test or exam for school is what you will speak. Whether you believe you will pass or fail is what it will be by how you speak or say about it. Whatever you believe about your test results, here we go, about your health is what you will speak. Whether you believe they will be good or bad is what it will be by how you speak or say about it again, positively or negatively. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. This goes for whatever you are dealing with in your life. You will speak whatever you believe about what you are dealing with. It, 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 it will turn out for the good or it will turn out for the bad based on how you believe and how you speak about it. Remember, my brothers and family friends, what Matthew 12, 34 says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. And so let me stop right here, because believe it or not, I'm closing. Let me stop right here and say this. I gave a message a while ago that whatever you, whatever you are, what's ever in your heart is what your mouth will speak. Remember I said that to you? Because what we hear from our ears, right, goes into our hearts. And what goes into our hearts, if we believe what we're hearing with our ears, you will start eventually start speaking it. Mm -hmm. And that's and so we have to watch what we're allowed to go in our ears or what we pay attention to, because if it's a negative thing or if it's somebody who's telling you something uh, that in, and, and that's not right. Or, or for instance, we're trying to stand in faith about something and somebody give you some negative noob and you start believing that it ain't going to work. It ain't going to happen. It ain't going to change. You're not going to get healed. You're not, you know, you're, you are going to get laid off. If you start believe or start listening to that stuff, the negativity, the naysayers, it will eventually what? Go in your ears and goes down into your heart. And if you play with it and don't cast it down, what's going to happen? You're going to start believing it. And when you start believing it, you are going to start speaking it. And you don't even realize you're going to start speaking it. It just, that's the way it works. Ears, heart, speak out of your mouth. It's all together. You're, 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 what's going in your ear, what's go, what goes down to your heart. Because my brothers and sisters, friends, what we get down into our heart is what we really believe. That's how you got saved. Amen. All right. You really, you heard the message of salvation. It got down into your heart. You got convicted about it. You believed it. And what happened? You confess that Jesus is Lord and you are saved. Well, it's the same thing about everything else in life. Amen. So you have to watch what goes into your ears because it goes into your heart and what goes into your heart, eventually you're going to start believing. And if you start believing, it is going, trust me, it's going to come out of your mouth. You're going to start saying, because we only say what we believe, or shall I say it this way? You ought to only be saying what you believe. If you believe that you're not going to make it, do you really believe that? And let me say this, maybe put pause and give you a little, a real brief testament. I, I got a friend who, who's now going up in age, okay? Yes, got some health challenges, but she's, he, he, yeah, all right, she's speaking <laughs> that she's concerned that she's going to die because she's of a certain age. Yet there's no indication that she's going to die. She's only, she's only saying that because she's of age. She's up there. She's in her 70s. And she got a little bit of health challenges, but these health challenges is not going to lead to death. Well, they shouldn't. But anyway, everybody got health challenges, right? And especially as you get elderly, you're going to have some health challenges. But because of her age now, she is confessing out of her mouth, not just thinking it, but confessing it. I, you know, I'm concerned that I'm going to die soon. What? Okay, so what's going to happen? She eventually, she keeps talking that way. <laughs> it's going to have what she says. Amen? Okay. Yep, even that. Death. <laughs> there you go. Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life are in the power of your tongue. And what? You're going to have what you say. And, that, and so she's constantly not just thinking it. She's saying, I'm, I think I'm, I'm, I'm concerned about dying. I think I'm going to die soon. What? No, 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 no. You need to change your conversation. You think about living. 
No one's thinking about dying. I don't care how old you are, I don't care if you're 99. Yes, I know when you get to be 99, you think, well, I don't know how much time I got, but no one's talking about dying. You just wait for it to happen. Whenever it happens, you just keep on living. Amen. My brother says, I say all to say, out of the abundance of your heart, your mouth will speak. And as you are in dangerous ground, when you start speaking negativity against your very own life or against the very things you're believing God for, you're, you're in danger. Trust me, you're in trouble because you're speaking against what you're believing God for. And I don't care how much you pray about it, fast about it, whatever, you keep speaking negative. Guess what? You're going to have negative in result. Even, I hate to say it, death. If you keep talking about death, that's what's going to happen. It's going to come your way because you keep speaking it. Let me say this. My brother says, remember, it's God is in control, but he's also giving us control of our lives by what we say out of our mouths. And that's why it's so important you watch what you say, that you speak only what you believe. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. The question is, what do you believe in your heart about the negative situation, the negative problem, or the negative circumstance? However you believe about it will determine the outcome, good or bad, negative or positive, based on what you speak and what you have said about it or are saying about it. My brothers and sisters, fine friends, speak only what you believe. In other words, to, make, to, to, to get the, the gist of this whole message, if you don't believe it, don't say it. And I say that again. If you don't believe it, don't say it. Say only what you believe. Let us pray. Our Father God, thank you once again for allowing me to bring this word. Thank you for giving me this word to bring forth to the people of God this morning on this line, Zion Knights and all the guests on the line, their families who are online. Thank you, Father, for revealing it to me. Thank you for helping me to work it out. Thank you, Father, for just another opportunity to bring forth your word. And I pray to all who's on this line have been blessed, have been encouraged, have been uplifted, have been strengthened by this word to give them something to think about, about what the things they say out of their mouth, that they ought to be only saying what they believe. And if they don't really believe it, they ought not to be saying it. To, be, to put a guard and be cautious about the things they are saying because they are speaking against their very own life when they and circumstances when they speak constantly negative about what's going on in their lives. So, I, Lord, Lord so I pray that it has blessed them, encouraged them, uplifted them, given them something to, to stand on, to use as they go through and deal with whatever it is they're dealing with in their lives, as they pray to you, as they talk to you, as they stand and believe your word, that not to not to speak against, not to speak negative about what's going on with them, no matter what's going on, going on with them, that you continue to seek your word, continue to speak your word, continue to co confess their word over your situation, over their situation. And, the, and I believe by their word, your their, them speaking your word over their situation, it will come out for the good. The end result will be good. It will turn out in their favor. Again, thank you. Again, we ask you and, and ask you to continue to touch and bless our pastor and his family. We ask you to touch and bless the Moore families, Bar Sister Barbara, uh, Reverend Barbara Moore and, and, and uh, Sherman Moore, uh, as they're both dealing with bereavement on the, and the entire family. Do you touch the Moore family, strengthen them, comfort them, uplift them while they're going through. Uh, or give them safe travel mercy where they got to go and all the arrangements they got to make. And, and just, I just ask for comfort and strength for that family. And anybody else that I'm not aware of who is going through bereavement, that you would encourage them, uplift them, strengthen them during this time. And of course, Lord, bless and touch all those and heal all those who are going through sickness and disease. I claim for them and stand in the gap for them and intercede for them that by your stripes they are and were healed, no matter what the sickness, no matter what disease. We thank you. We praise you for your goodness, grace, and mercy. And anything else that anybody else is dealing with, I'm going to ask you to bless them. Touch them, encourage them, uplift them, and make a way for them, work it out for them. In Jesus' name, help them to stand by faith, no matter how them continue to stand for their breakthrough, believing for their breakthrough, no matter what, no matter how long it takes to continue to believe and continue to say only what they believe. We thank you. We praise you. We give your name all the honor, glory, and praise for your goodness, grace, and mercy, and all these petitions, desire, ask of you. Ask it in Jesus' name, and by faith, I claim it done. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Amen. Remember this, my brothers and fine friends. All things are possible to you, to him, to you, to, to, to him, to her, to those of them that believe, and to you if you believe. Never stop praying, never stop uh believing, never, never give up. Why? Because there's nothing too hard for the Lord. And as long as you keep praying, keep believing for your miracle and your deliverance, it shall come to pass. And remember, say only what you believe. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And I will see you next time. God bless you. Amen. Thanks, Brother Dickinson. Great work. Thank you. God bless Amen. You. Great night. Amen. God, bless. God bless you. God bless everyone. Amen. Amen.